on YouTube. And here we go. I am live with you. My name is Ben Azadi. I'm the best-selling author of four books and the founder of Keto Camp. Here at Keto Camp, we're on a mission to educate and to inspire 1 billion people. And we're going to be discussing ketosis, intermittent fasting, how to do it the right way so you could get exceptional results in 2023 and beyond. So this is a great opportunity for you to start sending your questions my way. I also have a couple of huge announcements and a gift to give to you all. So you want to stick around for the gift that I'm going to give to you all. It's a freaking awesome gift. It's free. And it's going to be so useful. And then I also have another announcement. So two announcements coming up. Stay tuned for that. Let's get right into your questions. I already see some questions here. Uh, TikTok says, Durzuazula. Uh, I don't know if I'm saying the name right. Are you Persian? I am Persian. My parents were born in Iran. And they immigrated here in the 70s to America. And then I was born in Miami Beach, Florida. Uh, so, so blessed to be in Florida. And I am Persian. My entire extended family all live in Iran. We got coach Becky Niles in the house on Instagram and we have Reza in London. We have Evelyn in the house and I see some questions here. Reza says doing keto for 18 months and I use your flex approach, but for the first time I went crazy. A lot of refined carbs. Would you recommend 48 hour fast to reset from inflammation and before getting back on course? A 48 hour fast is great. Just make sure you're doing it during a time where you don't have a lot of stress. Uh, when I talk about a flex day, it's it's not to be done with refined carbs. It's to be done with healthy, unrefined carbs. So, you know, valuable lesson learned there. Hello, brilliant Dr. Lana Morrow. Love and appreciate you. So, yeah, Reza, you know, it's not about the setback. It's about the get back. Get right back on course. 48-hour fast is great for the gut, great for your dopamine receptor sites in your brain, great for autophagy. It's a great way to kick start things back up as long as you're not too stressed. You don't want to do a 48-hour fast during a stressful period. So uh, ideally you wanna have those flex days with healthy carbs and good job experimenting. Menopause and keto, absolutely. Uh, when we think about women who are postmenopausal, you uh, one thing to understand is that the ovaries have retired. They said, peace out, I've done my job. And it's a major organ that essentially goes into hibernation. So what picks up the slack for the ovaries is your adrenal glands and your body fat. So this is a very important time to focus on oxytocin to focus on ways to get oxytocin, and there's several ways to do so. I talk about that in my book, Keto Flex, Chapter 12, which is all about keto fasting for women. But oxytocin can be achieved from hugging people, practicing gratitude, watching funny movies, petting your dog, your cats. So you want to really be uh, working on your stress. And then keto can be done for postmenopausal women. Uh, you do want to have flex days one or two times per week, but in general, you can definitely do ketone fasting if you're menopausal, postmenopausal. Absolutely. Can diabetics go on a 48-hour fast? That can be done. However, you want to monitor your glucose and ketone numbers. And of course, this is not medical advice. So I do advise you work with a practitioner, especially if you're diabetic. But you want to look at your glucose and ketones during your fast. Uh, in general, you don't want your ketones to be over 10.0. And you, that's millimolars, uh, M-M-O-L, millimolars per liter. And you don't want your glucose to drop under 50 milligrams per deciliters. So I have students in the academy who are diabetic and do different fasting schedules, and it's a great way to reverse it. However, you want to monitor those numbers. Vitamin G and Keto Flex days work really well for me. I love it, Rachel. You are all about the vitamin G. Cheryl, good to see you on here, Keto Camp student. Uh, I, you, you enjoyed the session with Thin Alicia Summit. I'm so glad you, you did. It was a great summit with great speakers. Uh, next question here is from Jerry ha Hosenfeld. How come just eating protein still kicks me out of ketosis? Uh, Jerry, how are you testing that? Are you using a Keto Mojo finger prick? And um, typically, if you're not eating enough fat, that may happen, but it's not common. So try increasing your fats and see what happens there. Fat bombs, okay. Uh, what quantity throws you out of ketosis during a fast? Fat bombs are, if it's just 100% fat, will not kick you out of ketosis. So you, you don't have to worry about that. But you do have to digest that. So you might lose some digestive healing benefits during the fast. So fat bombs are fine. It's not going to knock you out of ketosis, but it will create the digestive process. And your body does need to burn the calories in your fat bombs versus body fat so it could slow down fat loss just a little bit. 
Any helpful advice on preparing for the three-day fast? Nice. You're a pro, Lana. You've done it before. Um, yeah. Go into it. Uh, uh, do it a week that you will, don't have a lot of stress. Um, I, ideally, it's you can exercise during a three-day fast, but I, I don't like that because I like to use the energy for healing versus for exercise. So I would make sure it's a week where you're low key, laid back, stress is mastered. If you're looking at glucose and ketones, that would be a good idea. What we want to see during a fast when it comes to blue, blood glucose and blood ketones, here's what you want to see. You want to see it trend in the right direction. You want to see glucose continuously drop during a fast and ketones rise. So you want to see that inverted relationship, glucose dropping, ketones rising. If you see glucose rising and ketones dropping or non-existent, it could be too much stress for your body. Uh, maybe your sleep wasn't optimal. It could be a hormonal thing. It could be meaning you're breaking down a lot of protein and muscle, but that's typically going to happen if you're not fat adapted. And I know you're very metabolically healthy and flexible, Lana, so you should be good. Um, you could keep your electrolytes up. That's very important. So sea salt or electrolytes with un unflavored electrolytes during your fast is a good idea. And let that be just a great three days of repair, recover, relax. Yeah, all that good stuff that you just said. No stress, relax, no exercise. Look at glucose and ketones. Yep, look at ketones rising. Correct. Um, is, pro is palm ace olive oil as bad as seed oils? Palm ace olive oil. Palm ace. I'm going to look this up. Palm Ace Olive Oil. I've never heard of that brand. Uh, what is Palm Ace Olive Oil? It's an olive oil that is extracted from the olive pulp after the first press. Uh, let me see something here. This oil is... Uh, I'm trying to find some good info on it. So I've never heard of that. I would say this, if it's real olive oil, uh, let me just look this up here. If it's real olive oil that has not been cut with seed oils and it's organic extra virgin, ideally first pressed and cold pressed, it's good to go. I don't know if this company does it that way. So I would verify that. But olives are not a seed oil. It, olives are a fruit, although olives do have a seed. It's not technically a seed oil. And you have a great question there because you do want to avoid seed oils as much as possible. And this leads me to a gift I have for you all. So I hope you're excited about what I'm about to share here. Hey, if you're watching on TikTok and Instagram, though, and Facebook and YouTube, hit the heart emojis, hit the whatever emojis you have available to bump up the algorithm. But here's my gift to you in a second. Seed oils are very important to avoid. And when I talk about seed oils, I'm talking about adulterated seed oils. They're also called vegetable oils, and they go by the names of canola oil, corn oil, rapeseed oil, cottonseed oil, grapeseed oil, rice bran oil, sunflower oil, safflower oil, um, soybean oil. These are very inflammatory. They're all keto-friendly, but they're not health-friendly. And they're everywhere. They're at the Whole Foods hot food bar. They're at your restaurants. They are very inflammatory. The half-life of these oils is 680 days, meaning if you remove them today, half of them will remain in your body fat because that's where they get stored, gunking up your cells, gunking up your mitochondria. They are worse than sugar, worse than smoking because they stick around for a very, very long time. Even organic canola oil, I'm not a fan. It's still highly processed and it is unstable in your body. So instead, we want saturated fats and monounsaturated fats. So here is my gift to you all. I hope, are you ready for the gift? <laughs> this is exciting. When I go to restaurants, if you've ever had dinner with me, I know Rachel has, I've had dinner with Rachel and Lana and Alina. If you've ever gone to dinner with me, here's what you're going to see. What's the first thing I ask the waiter, the waitress, the server? Hey, what do you cook? What oil do you use to cook your food in? Even if it's like the most fanciest restaurant in the world, 98% of the time, they're going to say, we use a soybean or a canola or some sort of inflammatory oil. I always tell them I'm allergic. My fiance is allergic. Everybody at this table is allergic to those oils. Can you use a healthier option? And 
I'm not lying because we are all allergic in a sense to these oils. They are inflammatory, but we have to say the words allergic versus I prefer because then they'll really pay attention. But here's the problem. A lot of people have a hard time making that, uh, asking that question and just having that conversation for whatever reason. You might have people at the table. You don't want to look weird. I don't care. I ask and I request. So I've made it very easy for you, which gives me, leads me to my gift. This is your gift. It's called a seed oil allergy card. Okay. A seed oil allergy card. And on this card, it reads, dear chef, I have food allergies to vegetable oils. In order for me to avoid an allergic re reaction, I must avoid everything marked off below. So in the top list, there's eight oils here that are inflammatory with red X's telling the restaurant that you cannot consume those fats. Below it, it says the following, the following alternatives are safe. So it has the ones that are safe in green check marks. And then it says, please make sure the approved alternatives are not cut with the allergic options. Thank you for keeping me safe. You could get this for free. Print it out, print out several copies, bring it to restaurants and simply just show the waiter, the server, this card. And where you would get this allergy card is over at seedoilcard.com. So it's free. You just got to download it and print it out or have it on your phone. Either way it works. But seedoilcard.com and you could get your free seed oil allergy card. That is my gift to you. Use this, print out several copies or have the, the, the image like downloaded on your phone so you can just show them your phone with the image. Any way it works. But seedoilcard.com, go get it. That is my gift to you to make it easy for you to avoid these inflammatory fats. I hope you enjoy that. I hope you enjoy that. Okay, next question here. Hey, Dina, good to see you on here, Keto Camp Academy student. Um, Jennifer Karch says, after fasting for three years, postmenopause, 16A, 18.6, resulting in being skinny, 50 kilograms. I'm now gaining weight even doing 16.8 up to three kilograms has my metabolism stopped or something else has happened. I'm not sure what happens, uh, happened. Um, a 16, eight or an 18, six is not excessive fasting. So, uh, I don't know if you've been doing keto that whole time. You might need some days. You might need some feast days. You might need some days where you intentionally don't do any fasting, get your carbohydrates up over a hundred grams of healthy carbs and remind the body it's not starving. This is what we teach in the Academy. So feast days are going to be the solution for you. Hello, Sally. Good to see beautiful Sally in the house. Hello, Margaret in San Diego. Jennifer says, I use extra virgin cold pressed olive oil only. Awesome. Monica in the Bahamas. Hello, Monica. James, super camper on YouTube here. Hey, James Benoit. Can I also please get your view on bone broth fasting? Bone broth fasting has its merit. Uh, I think it's great as long as it's quality bone broth. If you're sensitive to histamines, not a good idea. But if you're not sensitive to histamines, bone broth fasting is great for the gut. It has glycine. It has amino acids. So it's wonderful. I have a video on my YouTube channel all about bone broth fasting. Hillary. Hey, Ben. Love everything you are about. Uh, thank you. Wondering if you know about leucine increasing the bioavailability of protein even in one sitting. Uh, occasionally OMAD and want to optimize protein synthesis. Yeah, leucine is going to um, activate mTOR, which is great for growth. I would recommend a blend of all the essential aminos. Something I, I use and recommend is called Perfect Aminos. Perfect Aminos by Body Health, Body by Health, or Perfect Aminos is the product. They're terrific. We have a coupon code with them, which is Keto Camp. It has leucine, but all the other essential amino, uh, amino acids as well. Seed oil caused my audit adult cystic acne. I only use avocado and extra virgin olive oil. My skin is flourishing now. Wow, that is awesome. I'm so glad you found the solution there. Can keto help my diabetic child? I would work on a with a practitioner on that. The answer is maybe, but it's a kid, diabetes, um, work with a practitioner who understands keto and diabetes. And uh, definitely, you know, diabetes is not a lifelong sentence. It can be reversed for children or for adults. Gloria says, I printed mine and laminated it for my wallet. That is brilliant, Gloria. I love that. When I see you, I'll give you an actual card too. 
Omed, is it healthy? One meal a day. One meal a day is fine as long as you're not doing it every day. If you do Omed every single day, I don't think it is healthy. Uh, but a couple of days per week should be okay. How to counter the keto flu is cold pressed canola oil okay? So cold pressed canola oil is not okay. No variation of canola oil is fine. Uh, although that might be better than regular heated canola oil, processed in canola oil. It's not ideal. Now, how do you account for keto flu? The number one cause of keto flu is more, it's not a keto issue, it's a carbohydrate withdrawal issue. As you lower your carbs, you lower insulin, awesome. But as you lower insulin, you also release excess water weight, awesome. You feel less puffy, look less puffy, and you feel great. Uh, not a, you're not carrying on this extra water weight. But the kidneys go through this diuresis process where it releases electrolytes. So the solution is to keep your electrolytes up. Every morning, have electrolytes, have sea salt. That is the antidote to the keto flu. Um, some questions here on Facebook. Margarita says, what was the keto monitor that you recommend? Keto Mojo. If you go to keto, uh, ketocampmachine.com, you could get the Keto Mojo machine. Stephanie LaFleur, love you, Ben. Love you too. Do you have a resource video that shows what's going on during an extended fast? Yes. If you go to YouTube and type in, uh, how to break a block fast keto camp. That is the video. Hello, Danelle. Camille says, is it possible to take too many fats? Started pillar two. My numbers are great right now. It is possible to take on too many fats. Um, when you think about ketosis and the ketogenic lifestyle, uh, in the beginning, we do emphasize high fat, high fat, high fat. But after two weeks, once you're in ketosis, you scale down the fat and you only get the fat that comes naturally with the protein because when you're eating too much fat on keto, your body does need to burn the dietary fat, the calories in your fat before it burns body fat. So if your goal is to lose some body fat and lose some weight, extra weight, then you want to dial down the fat a little bit. Thank you, Rachel. Love you. Uh, next question here is from Imran. Javed, I have done keto and have lost 25 kilograms, which is 50 pounds, trying to implement your advice. Great work, bro. Great work, bro, to you. That is awesome. Congratulations. Thank you, Ben. You rock. I appreciate that. It's so you rock too. Debbie says, I'm new to this lifestyle, feeling great after six days. Thank you. Good job, Debbie. Debbie Flatten, congratulations. Tara Swanson, hey, Ben, love your content. Enjoying you following your page. Thank you so much. What's your daily... What's your take on drinking exogenous ketones daily? Um, so number one, you want to make sure the exogenous ketones are uh, high quality. So the two companies that I use are, what are the two companies? Kinetic has a great exogenous ketone drink, Kinetic, and then um, Ketone IQ from HVMN. Now, should you drink it every day? I, I'm not a fan of taking any supplement every day. And you don't use exogenous ketones to supplement doing the work. So we want to get the body producing its own ketones. And then we use exogenous ketones as like a brain hack or an inflammatory hack. So not every day, but as long as it's high quality and you do it the right way while doing the work, Tara, it's totally fine. Michelle, I'm in Canada. Loved your recent podcast with Maggie. She is one of my gurus as I deal with cancer. I can't get keto mojo in Canada. Any device you would recommend. Michelle, praying for your amazing body to heal and you will heal. And, and Maggie Jones is an incredible, incredible story. If you didn't listen to my recent interview on the Keto Camp podcast that came out two days ago with Maggie Jones, also on YouTube, she had stage four lung cancer, okay? Her doctor said, pretty much nothing we can do for you. That was years ago. She has healed that. She shows the scans uh, what she did to heal stage four lung cancer with keto, with fasting, with these biohacks that we talk about. So Michelle, you're definitely in the right hands with her and the things she did. And I pray for you to heal and I know you will heal. Now, in regards to your question with Keto Mojo in Canada, uh, if you might want to look on Amazon if you could find that. Carissa, thanks for the badge. I appreciate that. You might want to look on Amazon if you could find Keto Mojo. If not, check out the breath ketone meter called Biosense mybiosense.com is where you could find that. And the coupon code with them is keto camp for $20 off. I hope you enjoyed the seed oil card. Before I get to some more questions here, 
Uh, I'm doing something for the, this is my second announcement that I told you I had. I'm doing something for the first time this Friday, January 27th at 12 p.m. Eastern time, where I'm going to be hosting a free live masterclass all about toxins and all about detox. Okay. When we think about the health and nutrition industry, they lied to you. The weight loss industry has lied to every single one of you. And I was part of the problem in the beginning of my career in the health space 14 years ago. I lied to people too. And what do I mean by that? They have told you, and I have said in the past, many, many years ago, I have said this, if you want to get healthy, if you want to lose weight, just cut your calories. It's all you got to do, be in a calorie deficit. That is a blatant lie. Cutting calories does not work long-term. Sure, maybe short-term, you're going to lose some weight. But long-term, you destroy your metabolism and you gain the weight back. That's because you don't lose weight to get healthy. You get healthy to lose weight. When we think about calories, it doesn't account for things like toxins. I believe we live in the most toxic world than ever before. And when toxins enter your body from many, many numerous ways, from the food you eat, the water you drink, the chemicals in your environment, the mercury fillings in your mouth, those toxins disrupt your hormones. They create inflammation around your cells and block your hormones. They also get stored in your body fat. So on this masterclass, I'm going to help you identify the most common toxins that are hidden right in front of you, how to identify them and remove them, and then how to detox the toxins that are in your body the right way so your stress bucket could drop, your inflammatory levels drop, and then you break through weight loss resistance. Your symptoms go away. You feel good. Toxins are the number one driver for cellular inflammation. So this is a free masterclass, and we're going to identify these toxins. I'm going to give you some protocols. It's going to be like an hour and a half. I have a lot to share with you. If you want to join me, we have room for 1,000 people, and there's about 300 people signed up. So we have 700 spots left. That's taking place this Friday. If you go to toxinsmasterclass.com, toxinsmasterclass.com, you could register your free spot. It's taking place this Friday. We're going to have a 24-hour replay too for those who sign up for the masterclass. I have a lot to cover with you. I'm going to also share my story about what toxins did to destroy my health. I was doing keto and fasting and CrossFit perfectly, and I still didn't feel well. And then I discovered I have a toxicity issue. I had a neurotoxicity issue. I had a silver fillings in my mouth issue. I had eight silver fillings in my mouth leaching mercury from the tooth, 50% of every silver filling in your mouth contains the super toxin mercury, and it goes from organic mercury, and it vaporizes and goes right into the hypothal hypothalamus pituitary, your brain, and gets stored as inorganic mercury. Uh, so I realized that was my issue. So I got them safely removed. I'm going to discuss that on Friday's masterclass, and then I detoxed the uh, mercury out of my brain. I'm going to talk about that on Friday, too. So it wasn't until I did that that I started to feel good. I was taking $500 worth of supplements. I was doing keto and CrossFit and fasting, and I still didn't feel great until I solved the toxicity issue. Toxins disrupt your gut microbiome. Toxins create brain fog. Toxins drive autoimmune. And we live in the most toxic world than ever before. So join me as I identify all those toxins with you and show you how to detox the right way. When I say detox, I am not talking about a coffee enema, or a seven-day colon cleanse, or a juice cleanse. Now, yeah, those can be beneficial, but they're all downstream. They do not get to toxins that are deep inside of your tissues, your brain, and your bones. We're going to talk about how to get to those on Friday's session. So it's toxinsmasterclass.com if you want to join me this Friday. Happy Wednesday, Ben. Love all your content. Vitamin G for you. Vitamin G for you too, Chris. How long should we bring the fat down? Um, if your goal is fat loss, after two weeks of doing keto, you bring the fat down until you reach your goal weight. Looking forward to your interview with Steak and Butter Gal. Love the community so much. I'm learning and learning so much. Yeah, she's great. Bella, I can't wait to come on there next month. In February, we're going to have a great chat about carnivore and ketosis and what it does for autoimmune and the gut. I'm also going to interview her on my podcast as well. Okay, we have some more questions here coming through on YouTube. Let me get to those. And then I, uh, TikTok, I'll get to you right after that. And then Instagram, I'll get to you. Actually, let me get to this. Can you detox diesel fuel from your body? I have to breathe it in for nine years. Yep, you can through uh, what I call true cellular detox. So I'm going to talk about that on Friday. 
Alina just dropped the link for you to join me on that masterclass. It's toxinsmasterclass.com. Join me. I'm going to teach you how to do how to do that the right way. Uh, Aloha, Albert in Hawaii. Good to see you, my friend. You keep kicking butt. Proud of you. Kelly says, I've been following keto since June and I've lost 80 plus pounds. Go, Kelly. How do I, how do, how do I enjoy a carb loaded meal like pasta or Tex-Mex or family dinners every now and then without reversing my progress? Ideally, you want those carbs to be healthy, but hey, how do you do that? Um, depending on where you are at in your lifespan, meaning if you have a menstrual cycle, the week before your period is the best time to do that. If you're postmenopausal, doing that once a week should suffice. If you already have a metabolically flexible metabolism, then it shouldn't reverse your progress. And congratulations on those results. What is your website again? I'm, real, I'm very interested and in live religiously by your videos. Thank you. My website is benazadi.com. Uh, the Toxins Masterclass is toxinsmasterclass.com. I stopped counting calories while watching my diet. I do intermittent fasting five days a week. Any tips to lose weight? Yes. If you want to lose weight, here's a little Jedi trick. Don't focus on the weight loss. I know. But Ben, that's my goal to lose weight. But I mentioned it earlier. You do not lose weight to get healthy. You get healthy to lose weight. So put your energy and your bandwidth into getting healthy. Okay? Sleep. Quality sleep. You burn a lot of fat during sleep. Master your stress. Practice gratitude. Vary your intermittent fasting schedule. Go in and out of ketosis. Practice strength training. And as you get more hormone sensitive and as you drop inflammation, the weight will come off. And I'm proud of you for stopping counting calories. Good job. Okay, more questions coming through here. Let's get to those questions on Instagram. I'm just going to scroll up. Um, Instagram needs to have a better user format because there's questions that came up earlier. If you could repost those, I could get to them, but it's hard to scroll up with all the comments. So um, if you could post them now, let's see. Uh, I tried to send email to get the detox Friday and it came black, back undelivered. Um, I'm not sure what happened there. If you go, to, if you just email us support at ketocamp.com, we can get you the, the direct link or just message me on Instagram. I'll get you the direct link. Gloria signed up for it. Gloria, this is going to be great for you as well. It's going to be a great class. Thank you, Nancy. Vitamin G for you. My thoughts on a CGM. My thoughts on CGMs are that it's a very valuable, it's a valuable tool. So a CGM is a continuous glucose monitor. I've worn one for months and it gives you a great idea of what sleep, what stress, what food does to your glucose level. So I think it's a very great idea. And we work with NutriSense. If you want to get their CGM, they have a dietitian in the app working with you. They're awesome. So it's NutriSense.io slash KetoCamp. And the code is Ben30 for $30 off. Carissa, ben, um, shoot, I lost it. Here we go. When do you reach autophagy in a fast? Google comes up with many results. Yeah, that's the billion dollar question, isn't it? My best guess is that if you're metabolically healthy, metabolically flexible, so you're already fat adapted, Carissa, which you're doing carnivore, so you probably are, I would say around the 15 hour mark, autophagy starts to get turned on. It's like a kind of like a dimmer switch. It starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter. So if you exercise during your fast, you'll get it shorter. Uh, if somebody's not metabolically healthy, then it could take up to 24 hours for that to happen. So it depends. Just signed up. I need to have. I need this after having radiation for my benign tumor, and I had it in my brain area. I'm glad it was benign, and I'm going to teach you how to detox the chemicals from chemotherapy. Is Coach Jeremy in the house? My brother, Coach Jeremy, three hundred five, Mister TEDx speaker, Mister Microdose Mastermind, Mister TikTok star in the house. Coach Jeremy, three hundred five, love you if you're watching. Go follow Jeremy, Coach Jeremy305 on Instagram and on TikTok. Nicole, how long should you wait to begin a longer fast when practicing keto? So the way that I teach it in my Keto Camp Academy, the first month is keto, 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 fat adaptation. The second month is fasting strategies. So I would give it at least 21 days before you implement fasting strategies.
Awesome. More people register for the Toxins Masterclass. If you missed it, you could get your seed oil allergy card for free over at seedoilcard.com. Print it out or have it on your phone. Show it to your server at restaurants to avoid toxic rancid seed oils at restaurants. This is what I use. It's a little hack for you and it's free. It's seedoilcard.com. I see, I see Jennifer got it. Let's see. Let's see who just claimed it. So Hillary got it. Good job, Hillary. Gisela got the card. Michael got the card. Cheryl got the card. Um, Elizabeth got the card. James Benoit got the card. Elizabeth Gerard's got the card. Kashik got the card. Margie got the card. Patrick got the card. Saint got the card. Joe got the card. Rebecca got the card. And so many more. Erica Loya and many, many others. So good job. Enjoy it. I hope you enjoy that. All right. I'm going to answer a few more questions for you. Margarita, you could get the card over at seedoilcard.com. Carissa got the card. It's pretty cool. I'm going to be speaking at it's still got the card. I'm going to be speaking in Austin, Texas. How many of you watching this live in Texas? I'm going to, I'm going to, <laughs> let me slow down for a second. I'm going to be speaking in Austin, Texas in April, the third week of April at KetoCon. This is like the Super Bowl of keto conferences. I'm going to be there for the entire weekend. We're going to do a meetup, a keto camp meetup. I'm going to be speaking, doing a keynote lecture on ancient healing strategies. I'm also going to be bringing a couple thousand of these physical cards and I'm going to hand it. I'm going to give this for free to everybody who attends my lecture in KetoCon. And I'm going to be doing a meet and greet and I'm going to give away about 300 books of my book, Keto Flex. I'm going to sign it for every person as well. And me and coach Jonathan Shane are going to be doing a masterclass on Keto Flexing, a workshop for the VIP ticket holders. So if you want to learn about KetoCon and join me there, I would love to hang out with you. Head over to ketocon.org and use the coupon code KETOCAMP. That's camp with a K, KETOCAMP no space in between. At checkout, you'll get $50 off your ticket price. So I'm going to have a lot of gifts. We're going to hang out. It's going to be awesome. Sally's going to be there. Alina's going to be there. Um, Gloria is going to be there. And a few others watching this are going to be there. It's going to be terrific. Hey, Asana in Finland. Judy, I can't wait to see you in person. Finally, right? The time is now. I'm going to give you a big old hug. I know your thoughts on fish oil. What are your thoughts on cod liver oil? I'm not a fan of cod liver oil. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. It's just unstable. Um, it might be better than regular fish oil, but it's not ideal. Hope to see you too, Chris. Arizona, I might be speaking in Arizona in September, so stand by for that. Um, might be speaking at a conference in Arizona this September, but it's not confirmed yet. Nancy, I started keto months ago using my own intelligence, which let's face it, it was pretty small. I've learned so much from you and I want to implement things, but I don't know if I'm a beginner. I see or not when I we start f talking about fasting. It was my norm to try not to eat after 6 p.m. Awesome, but I wasn't consistent. Yeah, you know, you're doing great and you are intelligent. Stop eating by 6 p.m. is a great idea. With fasting, you want to change your schedule up. You want to rotate it. Uh, I am going to be doing another keto masterclass next week. If you want to join that to learn more, which is ketosismasterclass.com. But the name of the game is to just mix things up and rotate it, uh, keep the body adapting. So the feasting is just as important as the fasting. So when you eat, eat at least one meal until full, get your protein. And when you fast, you fast. Balance out the feasting with the fasting. Feast, famine, cycling is very important. I don't like fermented cod liver oil. I don't like cod liver oil. I don't like any kind of extracted fish oil at all. It's unstable. Not a fan of it. Will your toxin masterclass be available on replay? I work Friday and I won't be able to listen to it live, but I'm interested. We're going to be giving away a 24 hour replay for the toxins masterclass. So yes, sign up for it. We still have room for you. Sandra, I'll see you at KetoCon. Make sure you say hi to me. And uh, it's going to be a great time. KetoCon.org. KetoCamp at checkout. Austin, Texas, April. 
Austin's a great city. What about Omega Oil, which is fish oil? Omega, I don't, I'm not a fan of it. No, I, I don't use fish oil or recommend it. So we use pure form, pure, or well, for number one, just eat the fish, eat high quality fatty fish like salmon, the smaller the fish, the better. But if you're talking about a supplement, we use pure form, which is uh, purelifescience.com. And the coupon code to get $4 off your bottle of capsules is BEN4, purelifescience.com, BEN4 at checkout. Absolutely, Gloria. I, Gloria, I would be happy to sign the book. Please bring it. And I can't wait to see you there. It's going to be fun. What are your thoughts on alternate day fasting? I think it's a great tool. We teach that in pillar two of the Keto Camp Academy. So alternate day fasting has its merits. It's a great way to mix things up. I love it. It's a great tool. You fasting princess. I like the name. I'm going to get to a couple more questions and then we're going to wrap up this live stream. Again, if you want to register for my upcoming free Toxins Masterclass, it is toxinsmasterclass.com. And uh, the gift to get the seed oil card for free, the allergy card is over at seedoilcard.com. So throw a couple, couple more questions my way and I'll see which ones come through first and I will answer them. You're welcome, princess, fasting princess. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What do we got here? KetoCon is going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I have most days up to dinner, but still gaining weight. Focus on sleep. You know, track your sleep. See if you're how much deep sleep you're getting. I would I would look at that. <clears throat> So it's different, Reza. I would recommend getting a test called the NMR test, which is looking at the different particle sizes, small and large for LDL. Best way to get started as a newbie. Great question. Welcome. So happy to have you here. Um, the best way is to get my Keto Kickstart Guide. It's free and it gives you a great blueprint to get started. So it's ketokickstartguide.com. Are onions and mushrooms allowed in pillar one? Uh, yes. In my academy pillar one, they are allowed. Yes. Thanks for all of your info over the years. You are one of the best. Thank you, Tri Chef. I appreciate that. Awesome. James is in, my friend. I love it. And Becky gave a great suggestion for you, Fasting Princess. Coach Becky is with us here at the Academy. She says, sleep, circadian rhythm, stress management, uh, I call it mastermind and movement, are great ways to break a plateau. Is kale good on keto? Not a big fan of kale. But it is high in anti-nutrients. Um, so it's not going to kick you out of ketosis, but it's not ideal. I would go with like Brussels sprouts or broccoli, dandelion greens, arugula. Those are going to be much better options than kale. I would avoid kale and spinach. Okay. Uh, thank you all so much for joining me today. Every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern time, I go live with you. If you are not subscribed to the Keto Camp podcast yet, go subscribe to it. We release a brand new episode every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes even more than that. And the Keto Camp podcast, Camp with a K, is spelled... Uh, excuse me, is available on all podcast platforms. So hope to get you downloading the Keto Camp podcast and uh, hope to continue serving you. For those who have registered for my upcoming Detox Masterclass, I'll see you Friday, toxinsmasterclass.com. Support, love you. Uh, appreciate you all. Talk to you all very, very soon. And